Welcome back to Ozarks Tonight. Household waste increases more than 25% this time of the year between Thanksgiving and New Year's Day with all of the, our Christmas shopping and the gift wrapping, which means an additional 1 million tons of waste per week. We are learning more about this with Ashley Krug and Lori Duncan with the Environmental Services with the City of Springfield. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you Thanks for having us. I know you, we have some tips here for people at home, some examples of what to do and what not to do most importantly so ladies I know this starts pre-holiday before we even start with Thanksgiving and especially Christmas with the gift wrapping what are some tips some things we should keep in mind so the first thing to think about is when we're first out there shopping and this is actually really similar to what we talked about with school supplies and thinking about the things that our stuff is coming in when we're buying them um, so we brought in a couple of examples here these are two footballs mm -hmm. um, that are literally the same thing. <laughs> They're from the same company, but one is wrapped in a non-recyclable plastic. The other one just has a tag on it that you can take off. So really thinking about what your materials are coming in and the ease of recycle, recycling the packaging afterwards is a good first step when we're moving forward in just our holiday shopping. There are also better options when wrapping our gifts. Right, wrapping is half the fun of the present. You wanna make it special, but again, that chance to be thinking about what kind of waste are you creating before you ever even start wrapping. So if you're gonna use paper, the first thing to do would be to look at your paper options. The shiny papers, they are very pretty and fun to look at, but this is not gonna be recyclable after the present has been opened. Some better options to consider would be to look at the paper that's just plain paper, fun designs, but no shininess to it. Um, gift bags, another thing to look at, um, if it's got any kind of glitter on it, that also is not gonna be recyclable. Again, this, the more sparkly, the less recyclable that's gonna be. Um, so. A, an option would be to just look at maybe a, a plain patterned bag or even getting some brown paper bags and decorating them yourself. Um, some An option for wrapping, instead of using paper, make the, the gift a gift within a gift. So for example, this one, there's a book in there, you can oh, feel okay. it. Um, so I wrapped the book in, this is a t-shirt. And so instead of using store-bought ribbon and something that's not gonna be recyclable, using just plain string or or some uh -huh. yarn, something just a little bit out of the ordinary, adding that personal touch mm -hmm. to the gift wrapping. And then when it comes to bows, bows are always, again, shiny and fun, <laughs> but this is not gonna be recyclable when we're done opening the gift. It lasts for a whole five seconds, and then we're done with it. So another option could be to investigate how to make your own bows out of recycled magazine paper or newspaper, and just mm -hmm. adding that little bit of extra personal touch to it, still having fun with the wrapping part of it, but maybe adding that extra special recyclable touch. And if it's investing in a food item, maybe investing mm -hmm. in some reusable shopping bags that the gift could go in. And it could also be a gift too, the shopping Correct. bags, which Absolutely. is something everyone can use year right. round. Right. And a lot of people might need it too. Right. It's pretty right. cool. And it will be useful. This is cool too, which they actually look look cool and like you said it adds that personal touch right but no glitter no shiny right paper. right <laughs> i know it's a bummer it's, it's, you just have to kind of make that mind shift yes learning how to do all that and then if we buy online there's also a way to minimize waste that way right so some things to think about um, is also really thinking about if we can use the packaging that something comes in as part of that wrapping. So a lot of times, I mean, if you get a box, use that box again to wrap um, packages in moving forward. And we just want to think also about um, what's coming inside that even while you're unwrapping presents as well as following it. And so there's a lot of stuff that comes in our packaging that mm -hmm. isn't actually recyclable. And so items right now like bubble wrap or even the big bubble wrap um, unfortunately can't be recycled okay. and so really thinking about making sure we're not putting that in our plastics to be recycled later um, styrofoam we do have a resource inside our community to recycle that styrofoam so you can take that to either computer recycling center or complete electronics recycling 
as much styrofoam as you'd like. Um, they do charge a fee, it's about $5 for one piece or 50 pieces, um, but they'll take that and recycle it as opposed to it sitting in the landfill. How about during the holidays when we're opening the gifts and you give this to someone, we receive something like this, what, what do we do with the stuff we receive then? A great way to get started thinking about where your waste is going during that time is set aside some boxes specifically marked for this is our recycling box here and as we open gifts anything that can be recycled goes straight into that box. Um, here is our trash box and so anything that is going to be trash we sort it as we're opening so that you're actually making your holiday part of that that process mm -hmm. and you don't have it all in one place so that you can differentiate right away during your your gift opening time it's fun but then you're also thinking about the after effects and so it's already sorted and ready to go um, and then your materials that can be recycled can go straight to the recycling bin or taken to the recycling center the trash can then go straight into the trash and not have to worry about oh did I get my recycling stuff into the trash can. And I think it's also great to remember too that we can't control what everyone gives us. Um, but we can always save the sparkly bags and use them over again. And I think just getting back into that mentality of using things as many times as we can, even if they can't be recycled, is a great way for us to keep moving forward throughout yes. the holidays. And that saves you money too, yeah. saving yes. the bags. Because if you use them once and they're perfect, you can definitely use them again. Training yourself to have that mindset as you're going through every part of whether it's a holiday celebration or just everyday life of thinking about, okay, what's going to happen with this after I'm done with it? And then that is a part of the after holidays mm -hmm. as you get your new stuff and you try to find room for where is this new thing going to go? Mm -hmm. It might mean clearing out some old stuff and that's a great time to clear out and then maybe donate things that can be donated to a thrift shop or a, a family in need or, or looking at those options for donating first mm -hmm. instead of just putting it straight into the trash can. Well, ladies, a lot of good stuff to start thinking about now for those of us who haven't started <laughs> Christmas shopping yet. <laughs> good and things wrapping. to keep in mind. And wrapping, <laughs> wrapping. Okay. We'll have all of those tips in the story on our website. That's ozarksfirst.com. Thanks for being here. Thanks Thank so you, much. Jennifer. We'll be right back with more right here on Ozarks Fox.